I feel like the game is running a little bit choppy on my new rig, which it hasn't done on the new rig, so fingers crossed it's all fine for the next couple of recordings I'm planning on doing. So where are we? We need to meet up with Inyo and Liko at the Restoring Kitten. The cock and hen, was it not? Is its original name? No, the cock and pussy. Because rooster and kitten. Uh, whereabouts is it? Let's see. We are there, which I'm pointing at, which you can't see, but but we're there. We're near F. We want to go and find number four, which is near C. In theory, I should be able to find it. In practice. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Which I think really sets the tone on whether I'm going to find this place or not. Let's see. It was a sort of little closed off area, I think. Along this way. I'm sure it'll have a sign. Lighting. Let's see, let's see. Hello there. Are you by any chance? The rooster and kitten. Well, we have a map. Alright, map. Well, we're at the D and Old Town. Is that a wall that's blocking off that area I want to go to? Like, it doesn't look as if there's a passage through that way. And this is it. Oh, I did it again. And uh, this looks like it may be. No, it's not a dead end. Hello there. After my shift's over, I think I'll head down to that cheap tavern by the arbor. Oh, what's it called again? The cock and puss. No. Ah, okay, so we must be near. Where are we now? We're at the end. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Because this is a harbour. I'm trying to remember if we visited it before. Hello. That is my face. It is a good face, if you ask me. Oh, there it's there. The roost, the rooster and kitten. Oh, I double clicked. Well, at least we got straight to the point. Okay, yeah, we did visit it before, didn't we? I remember it now. Hello. That must be the publican. Ulvik, I think his name was. What can I get you, my good man? Water, wine, or nothing. Goddess knows I'm not a drinking man. What does one order to blend properly in with the patrons of this filthy hive? That's a bit judgmental. I have little faith in the quality of the water in this place, but I can at least hold a cup and pretend to be drinking stronger stuff. Fair enough, water as. I'll take a cup of water. Water? Why would you want to order that foul stuff? I'm afraid we serve no water here, da. Fish fucking that, you know. Here's your merry minstrum. Da oh, okay, well. Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes, your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. Right, upwards we go. I do feel as if there is something that's causing it to be a little bit choppy, even if it's in the sensitivity, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have a me uh, mess around with that in between the recordings. But I haven't changed any of my settings, so I wonder if maybe an update, because I know the latest book was released, has changed some of the settings, potentially. I should be getting home. Just one more. One more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started. And then I'll head home. So we've got our various patrons around, and... Boop! Hello! 
Ah, finally. There you are. Sit. Y you're here. Please. I saved your seat. Sit down. But, but you're here. Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the Resistance, and I'm not Azadi. If you're not with the Resistance and you're not Azadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me, and I can either make your life easier or a lot worse. Okay, what is going on for here, and why was he speaking with his mouth closed? There definitely seems to be some weird things going on with the game right now for me. Uh, threat, wrong man's curious. She claims to be my friend and then she threatens me. Not the best way to begin a conversation. That's how I tend to talk to my friends. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. This woman is not looking for me. I mean, I'd say I'm curious. Who in Shadow's name is this woman? If she's looking for... I will have your name. You will have my name. So forceful. So like a caged animal. You're a popular man, Kian Alvane. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll even the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends. And enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me, Anna? I like the emphasis. You're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How I just wanted you? a chance to introduce myself, and now I have, so it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. If not, Olvik can pass a message. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you, friend. Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight, unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvane. Huh, okay, I'm intrigued. But you should really get your hair checked out, love, because I don't know what's going on there. You're like Magissa. Oh, God, what? get your body checked out too. What happened there? I really hope this isn't the game coming down with a whole bunch of graphical bl uh, blugs and bugs for me because I, I'm really enjoying this game. So I may try and lower all of my settings to low for the next recording and hope for the best. The witch in the vicar had six shots of liquor and presently went for a walk. Okay, Come here's on, our friends. The clergy. A man has his oh, urges, sorry. But the witch only wanted to talk. <laughs> Do you have a cock? Like, on your... Apron. You do! A rooster and a kitten. <gasps> it's an orange kitten! Yeah, I really needed to finish off that sentence. Who was that? What? Who? Where? That woman. Who was she? A mystery woman, huh? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I don't go looking at every woman who passes by. Liko? Uh huh? Did you see a mystery woman? No. God, you need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But Azadi drink here. Ulvik keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. Visibly. You have passes? Sure do, but we it's- We shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah, that. Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do? No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Yet. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs? No? Hugs? Yeah, me neither. Okay, oh. we really need to go. Come on. I wanted hugs. All right, let's follow them. Okay, now you're glitching up. I do apologize for this. <laughs> okay, that's a cute sign though. Look at that kitten! 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's good little... Oh, it's only got like one white paw there and a white tail. It's like a mix of both Belle and Isaac, basically. Alright, I'm coming. So what did your mystery woman look like? She had dancing pink hair. She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. Of course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a... a type. Really? A guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. I'm not a... God. D okay. Did I've not had much time for... for women in my life. Leaping leapers, are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous. Why, thank you. How did that come out of my mouth? Leaping leap furs? Nope, just nope. You do like women though, right? Shadow take me. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know, in fact, I could That's set quite you up enough, with. I, I don't know, this just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and. Blah! It's really disturbing. Trust me, I get that. Did she not have pink hair though? I swear it was pink. Passes. What are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind at our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Dancing. Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Armani. You may be of some use to us for a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Debt? Never you mind, Zidling. This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling? Really? Really? You know I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age and I've already been with that several mouth men. Thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her. I love her so much. Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. Uh oh. We should hurry. Ooh, we're in slow mo. <gasps> Shit. I'm suddenly expecting like a QTE. Um. Did I miss the chance to press something? We need to keep moving. We don't know how many of them there are. Oh, you're going that way. Okay, I'm coming. Thanks for catching that arrow, Liko. It was just pure reflex, Azadi. Oh, that's Poppycock. He is warming up to you, Kian. <sighs> Thank the gods of old our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine, I'll go first. I laughed on the inside. <laughs> I like him you too. would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Lego. All right. Attend a debriefing. So yeah, that says back at headquarters. I hope, I've hoped he, I hope he is, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I hope he is warming up to us. <sighs> Took me a little bit to try and get that out there. Hey, y'all. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. Thank oh, you. Oh, Liko saved Kian's life. He could have let the arrow hit him, but he didn't. Progress. That was reflexes. I did not intend to save the Azadi. Any news of the informer? Alvani did. We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. 
That won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. The first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course she won't travel alone. Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards, or handmaidens, or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hani, alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money, or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate. A sister and a soldier? That's a capital crime. Well, that, with Saya ruling the church, and Vamon, the state here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming, and you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from... Naane! Finally! What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard... The rebuilding progresses, and... Alvani, you are on your feet again. Uh, press F to learn more about this character. This seems new. Naani is a Zidmere artisan who has been with the Resistance for several years. She hails from Irhad. Uh, click on the balance symbol to see where, what other players have chosen. We have a choice, okay. Where she served the Rose Court. One year ago, Naani sold out the location of the rebel base in Miria, the swamp city, to see the Azari Apostle Kiano Vani in order to save shipments of food and medicine to magicals in Mercuria. As a result of this, the Azadi were able to locate and execute the rebel leader April Ryan and almost destroy the resistance. This also led to Kian's death sentence and imprisonment in Friar's Keep. So, she sold out the location of the rebel base. To Kian in order to save shipments of food and medicine. Okay. So we can be silent or cooperate. She betrayed the resistance to save herself, and now she's come back? Don't they know who she is and what she's done? I must tell them before she flees. The traitor? What's that witch doing here? They must not know who she is and what she's done. If I tell them now she's dead, I must confront her in private. Oh, fuck. Right. We want them to trust us, so I feel like we should disclose this, but at the same time... Like, I would like to think the Resistance have done their research and know about her. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her ass out. I feel like this may not be the best option, but I want the resistance to trust me. The tra this witch betrayed you all. She is responsible for the attack on the Swamp City. And for April Ryan's death. What? What are you talking about? I arrested her last year. She betrayed you to save her own skin. She gave me the location of the Swamp City, and she lured April there. It is because of this witch 
that April Ryan died. You're lying, Azadi. He is not. Forgive me, Liko. Liko, stop! Please, put your knife down. Do not harm her. Kian should be the one to kill her. He turned her, and he turned on her. Let him prove his allegiance now. Go on, Alvani. Do what you do best. Oh, shite. Okay. She betrayed her friends and allies. She deserves death. But it won't be by my hand. If Liko wants her dead, he must cut her throat on his own. I want no part in her murder. Oh, crap. Even we're on a timer as well. Kill her. And I can't I let can't him kill her, even though that will shame... Even though that will shame him in front of the others. She betrayed her friends by the reason her I forced her into it. Asks. I need his trust and confidence. The future of the resistance depends on it. Ah! Uh, crap, 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 crap. I don't know, I don't know. But she's nothing but a treacherous witch. She'd sell us out again in an in I can't kill. I can't, I can't, I can't. She doesn't deserve the blade. She did it out of desperation. She thought she was doing the right thing. You're as treacherous as she is. And to oh, think fuck. starting to trust you, Azadi. You can. If you're not going to kill her, then take her away. I don't want to see her. I won't be able to stay my blade. <coughs> I'm sorry, Liko. Put her in a cell. I will speak with her later. And Liko, you will not harm her. We need her. As for you, Kian, you did the right thing, the honorable thing. Although I fear you may have made even more of an enemy of Liko. He lost face tonight. He won't soon forget that. Fuck. You should all get some sleep. It's been a long day. We will reconvene after breakfast tomorrow. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakin to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. And now, you're a rebel. I knew they were coming. Utala and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardia that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity, and we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Many have forgotten about the Magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the Resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future. Lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people. Make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool, and you are a symbol, our secret weapon, the key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day, and there's still much I need to do. We can continue our conversation another day. 